into our houses, Lord, add blocks upon blocks, precept upon precept, a little here and a little there. Lord, build me up, build me up, build me up. I come ready, I come ready. Build me up, build me up. Somebody pray. We pray in the Holy Ghost. Build it up yourself in the most holy faith. Oh, beloved. Jude 120. Build up your faith. Build up yourself. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Every time we come to my Zion, we are built up. Build me up again. In the fails, in the fails, in the name of adversity, his strength is small. I pray, oh God, I cannot remain like this. My strength will not be small. Build me up, build me up in my inner man. I will not fail. I will not fail. Look at the 18 verse 1. For men, 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 always ought to pray and not to fail. If you are a man, you pray. I will pray and build up my status in the spirit. Even this morning, I will not fail. When the challenges of 2023 will come face to face, I will stand tall because I am a house built upon the rock. I am a house built upon the rock. I will not fail as I fast and pray. I am supernaturally built up. Somebody you will not fit. You will not fit. As you are fasting and praying, you are building up a foundation. Foundation. Foundation for the year. Foundation. Jesus says the house that is built upon the rock. This time will come. The wind will come. I will not fall. I will not fall. I am built upon the rock. It is a good prayer to pray. Build me upon the rock. Build me upon the rock. For by strength, by strength, no man shall prevail. I live by grace. I walk by grace. I am established upon grace. I will not fall. Even when the enemy will rise up against me like a flood. The spirit of the Lord will raise a standard, a standard against the devil for my sake. For my sake, arise, O oh God, arise, raise a standard against the flood of the enemy. Comes with 
spiritual uh, exercises. Uh, there are blessings uh, that are locked up for me. Uh, even in this service, uh, can you pray with me? Uh, pray with me. Uh, Lord, load me with benefit. Uh, load me with spiritual benefit. Uh, load me with financial benefit. Uh, load me uh, with every benefit uh, I need for my destiny. Uh, even as I journey, journey through the week, I receive benefit, benefit from the right, from the center, front and back. I receive benefit, even in this service. Lord me, oh God, Lord me, oh God. Okay, Papa, daily, daily, I receive benefit every day of the year. Benefit, benefit. Little one that David says uh, in Psalm 23, uh, he says, uh, Goodness, uh, goodness, uh, and mercy, mercy shall follow me uh, all the days of my life. Uh, pray with me, uh, days of my life, uh, goodness and mercy are uh, following me. I uh, keep uh, this week, uh, goodness uh, and mercy, they are the benefit of the Lord. Goodness and mercy shall follow me. These are the spiritual benefits. They will follow me. Shate kabadiata. Sete kapatesiata. Ale to sepate katabandiakata. Just go ahead and give him praise. Glorify his name. Glorify his name. He is here for your sake. Glorify his name. John chapter 3 verse 34. He said that he that come from above speak nothing except the word of the Lord. This morning, city of David, every minister of God that will stand here, they will function by the grace. Hallelujah. Good morning, church. And so our Heavenly Father will thank you this morning. We we'll bless your name, O oh God, for unto you shall the gathering of your people be. We we'll bless your name, O oh God, for that which you have planned and prepared to accomplish in every life that's stepping into this house this day. Lord, we ask, O oh God, that you will have your way. You will do your bidding in the name of Jesus. He said, for unto everyone that appeareth in Zion, they will move from strength to strength, from glory to glory. This shall be our testimony today in the name of Jesus. We receive, oh God, the grace. We receive the power. We receive the enablement, oh God, that will break every limitation in our lives in the name of Jesus. Father, have your way and do what only you alone have planned to do. And Jesus alone will be lifted in this service. And him alone will take all the glory in the matchless name of Jesus that we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Can you welcome somebody on your left and on your right to the first service of house on the rock, the word house? We trust God that you're going to have an amazing time in God's presence this morning. Hallelujah. Now with Jesus' joy, can you put your hands together and make welcome the best choir in the whole wide world, City of David. Hallelujah. How's he doing anything for you? Is there any grateful person in the house this morning? Are you all ready to pray? Let's go, God, like Hallelujah.
worship him this morning. He's worthy. Come on, call him sweet names. Call him sweet names. Call him my daddy. My daddy, my father. Father, we worship you this morning. You who loves us so much. You who cares for us. You are mindful of us. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody call him daddy. Daddy, I've come to worship you. Scripture says that we have received the spirit of adoption whereby we call him Abba Father. Everything we need is in our Father. Everything we want is in our Father. Can somebody worship him? You are my daddy, my daddy, my daddy, my daddy. Oh, how I love you. Oh, how I love you. Oh, how I love you. For the rest of eternity, my daddy, my daddy, hey, your baby is singing. Hey, I will be singing and dancing and shout. Let me hear you sing it out. Only the congregation say, my daddy, your baby is singing. For the rest of one more time, my daddy, my daddy, yeah. your baby is singing. I love your presence, oh God. Arabra de te, Arabahasha. My daddy, my daddy, my daddy, my daddy, your baby is singing.
of God, let us open up our mouth. Go ahead, give Him all the worship that is due Him. We give you the praise and the glory. You are the lover of our soul. You are the mighty warrior, the great in battle, the mighty God. You are the healer of our diseases. You are God Almighty. The whole earth is filled with your glory. You are El Shaddai. You are Adonai. You are Elion. You are mighty God, everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, the Lord of Lords, who can ascribe the greatness. You are mighty. You are Ebenezer. You are the Lord, our fortress. You are the Lord, our helper. You are the Lord, our deliverer. You healed us when our backs were against the wall. Lord, you showed up. You made a way where there seemed to be nowhere. We've come this morning to extol you, to magnify your name. You remain God all the time. You are good. In the good time, you are good. All the time, God on the mountain, God in the valley, God on the land, and God on the sea. You are Jesus, the living waters, Jesus, the word of God, Jesus, the bread of life, Jesus, our fortress. Jesus, a bunker, you are everything, and everything is you. Who is like unto thee, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like unto thee? You are glorious in holiness, you are fearful in praises, you are a wonder working God, a wonder doing God, a mighty God. We are your Father. We come this morning to magnify your name, O Lord. For you are everything and everything is you. Jesus, lover of our soul. Everything that we've ever been in this life cannot be compared to your love. Your love is more than a mouth can fathom. Your love is more than the highest heavens. Your love is more than we can explain. Your love is so deep we can't get into it. Your love is so high we can't get above it. Your love is so wide we can't get around it. You are everything, Lord. What can we say unto you, Lord? All we have to say is thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Isaiah chapter 43 and verse 19 in the New Living Translation. Isaiah 43 and verse 19. Lika panda braho shalanda ha sataya. It says, For I am about to do something new. He says, see, I have already begun. Do you not see it? Now watch this. He says, I will make a pathway through the wilderness. And look at the most interesting verse of the part of the scripture I want us to pray with. He said, I will create rivers in the dry wastelands. Help me lift up your two hands to heaven and begin to decree and declare into your ear. For the remaining months of 2023, so Lord, I will create rivers in your dry wastelands. It means whatever it is that has been dried up before now, God is going to cause rivers to flow. It means God is going to do the supernatural. He's going to superimpose his supernatural on your natural. The things that you have done and tried before that never worked in 2023, God is going to exceed your expectations. I would like you to put your two hands on your heart and begin to decree and declare over your life and say Lord in the name of Jesus in this year 2023 everything that represents the wasteland I cause rivers to flow right now according to your word oh Lord elite monde bro shall speak life to every dead situation we speak life to everything that has never won we speak life to everything that concerns our finances our relationship our marriages, our children, we decree and declare in this conference everything that refused to work will begin to work in the name of Jesus because you are doing something new. We decree and declare your word is yea and amen. We trust in what you can do. And so, Lord, we believe that everything in our life that has never worked. We begin to walk by your power in the name of Jesus. 
Can I hear it louder? Amen. Amen. Can your amen be more convincing? Amen. Now if you are excited to be in God's house on this Lord's day, can you lift your voice and give the Lord your loudest shout? Give the Lord your loudest shout. Give the Lord. Can you put those hands together and celebrate the King of glory? Hallelujah. Good morning and welcome to the third segment of our night conference. Will you help me look at the person standing to your left and to your right? Just admire them. Look at your clothes, your shoes. Perceive what you're wearing. Tell them you look beautiful, you look handsome. Thank you for being my neighbor today. Hallelujah. For the furtherance of this beautiful morning service, I would like us to look up to the multimedia screens for the lyrics of the hymn. And City of David leads us in a congregational hymn. Good morning, church. Our hymn this morning is He Gives Joy by Marilyn Baker.
couple of weeks, we've been carried through the days by the mercy of God, hear the prayers and prophetic words as we've received in this house. From Apostle of Fodile Zimiru to Prophetess Deborah Akach, we keep starting the second phase of the Ignite Conference. We've indeed received the light of the word like never before, and that is just what we need to carry us through the year. I am Gloria Akach, and this is Word House News. Right away, let's join Roy for updates from the Ignite Conference. You cannot deal with what you have not identified. Many of us are struggling to get somewhere. You can share all the business cards that you like or try to advertise yourself and promote yourself. You are not rising until your coding is right. Breaking negative patterns. We spoke to some parishioners and here's what they have to say about last Sunday's sermon. It was mind-blowing. It was so beautiful how she touched areas that usually you wouldn't even think about. Okay, I've been dragging my feet a bit, a bit uh, concerning um, fasting and praying. But today's um, service opened my eyes a whole lot to the need to participate in the fasting. For you to walk with strong angelic presence and backing, that is more like walking with God. You have to be confident. Uh, initially, when we came in, I was a bit groggy on sleep. But when the items from uh, the prophet started coming out, I was like, wow, I'm going to get this done and send it across to the rest of my family. Some families have never gone beyond first level. That is when nobody in a family has ever earned beyond, let's, let me give you, keep it at 100,000. But you don't know if somewhere in the spirit that that limit has been put. There's a restriction, there's an embargo that says this family, this is your height. I believe this is your year to break limits. I said, this year you shall break your limits in the name of Jesus. No wonder the Bible says, the entrance of the world gives light and it gives understanding to the simple. I am Lord, more as you will live. Reporting for What Else News. To get a copy of any of our service messages, please visit the site and sound desk or the church website at www.hotrinuku.org. Start your week with our free power pack Sunday services. Join us this Wednesday for School of the Spirit and on Friday for Solution Hour by 5 p.m. respectively. Tuesdays by 6 p.m. is Church in the Home. Kindly visit the information desk to find the one closest to you. The Rock Coppers hold their fellowship every Tuesday by 5 p.m. When Men Gather meets on the third Saturday of every month by 7 a.m. and Woman to Woman Fellowship every first Saturday of the month by 9 a.m. Communion service holds on the first Sunday of every month. Loud Child Dedications and Thanksgiving every last Sunday of the month. January 2023. Power up your year in prayer. Featuring Pastor Jonathan Sepponia, Reverend Edwin Pai. 21 days of prayer and fasting. Thank you for joining us on the news this morning. We truly appreciate that you sat and listened through. On behalf of the executive producer, Reverend Dr. Edwin Bible, and the team of resourceful men and women who work tirelessly behind the scenes to bring you the news bulletin each week, I am Gloria Akachko. Stay blessed. Good morning, church. It's an amazing Sunday to be alive and to be in the presence of God. And this morning, I want to welcome all of you to this very first service this morning. And I want for you to just look at a neighbor sitting beside you and just bestow on them that beautiful smile that just welcomes them into the presence of the Most High. Look at them and tell them, it's amazing to have you sitting beside me. Hallelujah. 
you'll be you'll be amazed that that is some of the most beautiful things that some of them would have heard this week amen hallelujah this morning we will be worshiping the lord at this point in the service uh, with our offerings with our tithes with our vows and with any other planned giving uh, that we have determinedly prayerfully considered and made up our minds to bring in worship to the one who alone is lord and is deservant of every offering and for whichever medium that you have chosen to do all of them whether it's the tithes it's your offerings it's um uh it's a fulfillment of your vow to the project accounts or you participate in project feed whichever one you choose to all of the account details if you're in church they are on the multimedia on the multimedia screens if you are home i'm sure they would also be showing uh on the devices uh, that you are that you are joining us on. Uh, however, if you are still in church and you desire to do all of your giving by way of cash, um, if you just raise a hand, uh, there are ushers all over the building, very close to you, who will um, come to you and will put an envelope in your hands so you can go on ahead and put together everything that you have desired to worship the Lord with. Uh, and four purposes of managing the time that we have this morning, we will arise once and we will receive the tithes, the vows, the offerings together. And if you are ready, I would that you rise to your feet this morning uh, so we can pray together as a church, as a kingdom focused and minded people. So we can return all of these to the one who truly gave them to us in the very first place. And we'll pray for the tithes, the offerings and the vows. Father, we thank you for every tithe raised in this place this morning. Lord, this is our endorsement and keeping of our part of the covenant because we know that you are a covenant-keeping God. And so as we raise this tithe today, Lord, it is to declare your faithfulness. It is to declare, Most High, that you are he that saith, and Lord, you do precisely what you have declared that you will do. And Father, as we raise all of these tithes to you, Lord, we say, Thank you for all that you have done and great things that we are assured that you will do. Take glory in the name of Jesus. And for every offering raised in this house this morning, Father, it is our token of gratitude to say thank you every day that you make your mercies new. Lord, that you work in us both to will and to do. Lord, you set us on our way. Lord, and you preserve our going out and our coming in. We just came back this morning to say thank you for life and for all things that pertain to life and to godliness. Let your name alone be exalted in the name of Jesus. And for every vow fulfilled in this place this morning, Lord, you are he that returns in the time of life. Lord, to do precisely what you have covenanted to do with your sons and your daughters. Do that which only divinity can do. And let all the glory arise to you now and forever in the awesome, magnificent name of Jesus. And amen. And you may pass the offerings, the tithes, and the vows to the minister sitting or standing beside you until he gets to the minister who will be standing at the extremes until the ushers come to receive all of those into the receptacles this morning. And to move this service to the very next level, join me as I make welcome without contradiction the very best east of the Niger and on this side of heaven. Ladies and gentlemen, city of David. Hallelujah. Come on, jam your hands for the Lord. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, I have the life of Christ in me. Hallelujah. Oh, Say, this life that I have is the life of God in me. Say, this life that I have is the life of Christ. Hallelujah. So this joy that I have, sing is the joy of the Holy Ghost. If you believe it, come on, give the Lord a shout. Woo! Hallelujah. Father, we love you. We bless you. We have the life of God in us. Hallelujah. Yeah. Now, 
listen to this. Say I'm the image of a loving God. He gave me a priceless gift, the Holy Ghost. Aye, aye. And through me, God is revealed. I am saved eternally in Christ. Come on, by help me sing. I'm the image. I'm the image. Come on, I'm the prophesy this word. Help the loving God. He gave me a priceless gift. Oh,
Shout out to me. This the life. This life that I have. This the life. This life that I have. This Zoe is in Christ Jesus. Can you go on ahead and begin to speak life uh, uh, over your children, life to your mortal body? Uh, begin to declare life over everything that you superintend. Uh, begin to speak life to your mind, life to your hands, uh, life to the things that you have set your hands over. Uh, can you go on ahead and begin to stir up the spirit of life in you? Uh, uh, for if the if he uh, that raised Christ from the dead and did not dwell in you, he that raised Christ is able to quicken, dynamize, give life to your mortal body. Father, we thank you for life. Thank you. Take glory, ancient of days, giver of life. Let your name alone be exalted in the awesome name of Jesus. You may be seated this morning, celebrate the Most High, hallelujah. And this morning we want to welcome very specially all of you that are joining us online, whether you're joining on Facebook or on YouTube, we want to say a very special welcome to you. We are glad that you're able to join us. And this we are assured of that the Lord, he will bless you mightily this morning in the name of Jesus. And for all of you in church this morning, I celebrate each and every one of you especially. Thank you for making it this morning in the name of Jesus. Uh, and this is the third Sunday of Ignite and it marks the last lap of this program and we're going to run all the way from today, Monday, Tuesday, um, with um, Reverend Annie Kebudu, and we'll continue on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Sunday um, with the Apostle Jonathan Sequania. Please do make plans to be here every one of those days and invite someone. And from the 12th of February to the 22nd, we will be having our relationship summit with Pastor Don Odunze and Reverend Christy Bature. Make plans towards that and be in there. Uh, and um, the senior, uh, the Metropolitan Senior Pastor of All House on the Rock Churches Worldwide, the Pastor Paul Adeolu Adefarasin, uh, will be marking his birthday on the 25th, which is on Wednesday, and the appreciation will be on 29th, which is Sunday. Continue to pray for him, love on him, and bless him. Hallelujah. Uh, and this morning, I also want for you to join me as I welcome the angel over this church, uh, the Reverend Edwin Bayebo, as he officially declares today's service open media. Praise God. Hallelujah. Welcome to the last week of Ignite Conference, Breaking Negative Patterns. It is a joy this morning to be in church. And I said, I want to challenge you. This last week is going to be a marathon from back to back, Sunday to Sunday. We'll begin with Pastor Annie today. And then on Wednesday, Apostle Shekwaya comes over and it's going to be a great time in the presence of God. 